again, you don't want to be in that scarcity mindset and you don't want your hobbies, what used to be fun to be no longer fun because you're relying it for, on it for income. Like, Cause I feel like it, it might be this is the case for some people. Like sometimes what you graduate with is going to be different with, with what you actually end up doing. Bernie who went to school sure. like a billion times. <laughs> I went to school a billion times. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Vision Paradox After Hours, where I coerce my social media company to hang out with me because I have no friends. So let me. there's a couple of things happening here in the chat. Okay. They just wrote things down in their notebook and nod their head and say, why did you feel like that? And just continue to write, I swear. Because um, that's a thing of therapy, too. Like having finding the right therapist. When it's I used a, to do mine in person, yeah. we would Agreeing. literally eat lunch together. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I used to do mine in person. So uh, that's good. I almost feel like she's, or I don't you know. knew I was food motivated. Yeah. So it's like, like a cat. release. Yeah. Like, for like my therapist, she, my therapist was all, was a former director of a theater company. Oh. So she gets where I'm coming from in terms of like having to manage the arts or in terms of being an artist. That's why she always recommended like, why don't I talk to her like a couple of years ago. That was just uh, adjusting to Jordan moving. I feel like talking to her helped out a lot actually. Uh, and then she was like, why don't you create something? Like it, it, we can talk about it, but you gotta like use the energy. Because she was like us artists, we need to create. Yeah. Yeah. What do you call it? It, we just have finding the right therapist that you vibe with, or like you feel like you can trust, or you can feel like that whole, like you could get into a relationship mm -hmm. with finding a therapist is like getting into a relationship yeah right but, uh, you but can, then you're not you allowed to like, be friends with them but, you, but yeah you I can't know. be friends with them you can't date them you can't be friends with them. you can't date them <laughs> but it's like having a stable relationship yeah. with someone that you should yeah, we, we used to consider like my in-person stuff working lunches working lunches yeah working lunches. my in-person sessions were working like because we were eating well it wasn't like all the time but like most of the time depending on what time i my session is because sometimes it gets moved okay uh, anything else on this top before we hop on the next one no no okay so let's that's the next one helps. last one uh, last kind of topic i kind of I, it really intrigued me last night about hobbies and passions oh yeah oh yeah uh, ooh, oh yeah. Oh, well, everybody was like oh yeah the first point i i put oh, like, my, my mustache moved <laughs> about like because i feel like it, it might be this is the case for some people like sometimes what you graduate with is going to be different with, with what you actually end up doing bernie who went to school sure. like a billion times <laughs> i went to school a billion times i took five or six different courses i think she can I'm do everything best. yeah i'm the best <laughs> <laughs> like doing a lot of shit in the world um, you're, you're the best uh, period yeah you're the best oh. <laughs> yeah, you. is this my therapy <laughs> I'm not gonna leave you the guys best. anymore I'm not I promise I'm not even thinking about it anymore I was thinking about it last night yesterday yeah. this is your intervention so yeah like for on my end like I went to school for animation I'm pretty sure a lot of people already know my story in terms of, I went to animation worked, I worked in the animation industry for almost half a decade and then quit now I run a social media company and a dance company I don't know because when we were talking about hobbies and passions like a lot of my hobbies helped me came into an amalgam of what my passion is yeah so like the, the for those of you guys uh listening or and want some context uh, last night during our team meeting our the random question of the week uh, that's part of our scrum we the question was would you rather have 10 hobbies or one passion so which is i can and it was really he interesting hearing everyone's perspective on that so like just to reiterate my answer mine was 10 hobbies because if i wasn't exploring i wouldn't have found the one passion and, and the one ring so <laughs> you didn't even watch Lord of the Rings. I know, I know. I just had to say it though. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's a it just sounds point. nice. Yeah. So, nice. Birok on the set, on the set, on the chat says <laughs> one passion. On the chat, one, one passion. passion. On, one, one passion. passion. You only got That's one, true. one shot. One shot. <laughs> one opportunity. <laughs> one opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> ah, then I am the one who makes bad jokes. Well, you have to realize, Emory is a dad. <laughs> So, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and I have dad shoes. <laughs> oh god. I don't know your thoughts on that. Great. Doing something different from what you graduate. Ten hobbies versus one passion. Whatever. Got two things to hop on. I would say, I. Oh, yeah. I think I need to share the back. My background. I started. Um, my first course in college was 
BSc English major in literature, which is because I like to write. Yep. And then I moved to educational psychology. Then I moved to special education. And then I stopped school because I think school was useless. I started working in BPO (laughs) and it earned really good money back then. So I started like living my life. Then after a while, I realized I want to please my parents because no matter what I do in BPO, they don't think it's a real job. They think I'm ju- it's just another block. So wow. I went back to school. I went back. I, I weirdly went back to vet school because that's what I like as a kid. I want to be a vet. But I stopped after a year. But then, yeah, I said, I just want to work. It makes no sense. And then <laughs> I went back to school. I went back to school to finish psychology because I only have, I honestly have like 57 units left for my psychology so that was a breaking point that's the reason why that was my undergrad because among all the things i did that has like the least number of things to finish so i get to graduate with business yep so i took that i started like weirdly my first job my my asked me if i wanted to do marketing because he thinks it's interesting to have a psychology perspective on marketing that's a fair point so yeah. So I, because he's, and then we, we tried it out. I said, yeah, I'm willing to try it out. Then we tried it out. He said, it's working because it's weird how I view things because of the you're weird. Background. You're hired. Yeah. You're, <laughs> weird. Yeah, you're weird. I like weird people here. So, so yeah. So that's when I, I took over. I, I think that's when I said I need to do postgrad and marketing because I like how things are different with marketing. And on the side, yeah, I quit marketing to do judo, which was my college thing. And yeah, I've been there ever since. And I, yeah, I, I go back and forth like a million things. I went back to, I went back to the office. I went back to big old corporate because yes, it pays really well. But realized I had to quit it when a good like judo opportunity came. But yes, pandemic. Because I, I think I would choose ten passions because I've been there and done that. Do one things over the other. And I think the best part of my life is now, weirdly, with the pandemic. Because number one, I realize I like marketing because it allows me to do a lot of things and different things every day. And number two, I am in love with judo. So it's like my passion. Like I like marketing, but judo is my passion. And I like teaching kids. I like building them into better judo or better people through judo. And then I like to do a million things. Like, yeah, because I'm just on break for my flying school and what else do I do yeah, uh, yeah, you're, so and, you're going to, and you're going to flight school yeah, I went yeah. To flight school. <laughs> then I go to the and beach. also you're like people because you've been there done that so yeah you got it all <laughs> so I would say yeah I, I, I would go over doing a lot of things that you're passionate about because I would agree with them that's where you find your passion I did a lot of things but I realized yeah there's something that would keep you coming back and I would say in my case that's true though like it's something that I could live with and it's something that I'm willing to do even without being paid for it. yeah that's the important part what will you what yeah. would you do like even, even if you didn't were, get paid for, it. Paid I know. for it and honestly I know. but oh, notes to like notes to like the parents of my students sometimes guys you have to pay too it's been a year <laughs> <laughs> and i pay my internet guys and i don't leave at home anymore so i got my bills now so yeah i get okay it's true i agree with bernie like i sometimes just a question the things you would do for free now okay, it's for everyone what were you doing a version of it when you were little like Cooking, yes, because like, my mom taught me how to cook. Like that, um, you would, that you would do on your own. No, like no one had to tell you how to, to do it. No one taught you how to do it. You're just like, I like this. I'm gonna try to figure it out. Dancing. Well, I don't do that anymore. Actually, never skate. mind. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> All right, chat. All right, <laughs> chat. Put a one if you want Max to perform a temper tantrum. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, I hate ooh, everyone. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank oh. you, Mirak. Oh, oh shoot! Oh. With yeah. one. Chat is speaking in binary. So. <laughs> <laughs> one, one, one. Yo, no let's, zeros, guys. let's not get that game started again. <laughs>
one one zero zero one. Like, uh, I mean, for, for me, like hobbies are a distraction to my job. Um, and I also use hobbies as a distraction to like, in school for school work. Distraction. Like I need, oh, I, I distraction. don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is why pronunciation is important. <laughs> and enunciation. Oh yeah. High school. Um, Say it again. Like, Say it again. Distraction. I'm kidding. Uh, distraction. Say it again. Because um, I, need, I need to like not think about it for a hot sec. I need to do something. I need to do something not my job which is why i started getting into like like a a bunch of things to keep me distracted because then if i start doing this one thing and then keep doing that as my distraction that it turns into just another thing i do so i have to do Mm. something else i I need choices Mm. (laughs) i need i'll go back to like certain things or whatever it's like literally using like looking for a tv show to other anything at all to watch on netflix like I will always have my comfort shows to go back to community will always be on <laughs> like uh, yeah. community will always be on rotation. Avatar will always be in rotation. Legend of Korra oh, will always God, be there. <laughs> but, um, or like Scott <laughs> Pilgrim versus the world will always be on rotation. But like sometimes, Oh, a new show I can get into, but like, sometimes just want something comforting. <laughs> mm. Familiar. Right. Try an habit in the morning. So, so hobbies. <laughs> like hobbies. Like, what are my hobbies? Like I got into cooking more baking more i got into writing again started getting into painting again still terrible at it but whatever i wouldn't call makeup a hobby anymore just because it's just there now Mm. (laughs) it's just there (laughs) like i try new things sometimes but i'm like it's a waste of product if i don't go anywhere with it Mm. that's why Mm. people are like you should do more looks on instagram i'm like yeah but where where am i going i just have a reason yeah. I have to, like you know, yeah. I can't just. It's a waste of products. Like fifty two dollars a fucking palette. Fuck no. <laughs> I know. Nah, and imagine cool. having to spend effort and doing makeup uh, and just staying at home. Yeah, and it's tiring. And <laughs> I know. Yeah, like, t- you, but it don't yeah, you will be an influencer, but no. I <laughs> mean, if you wanted to, but the thing is, yeah, when you're and then on it becomes my job. Gray area where your hobby can be paid, but you don't want to take it there. It's super hard because when you do it, you want to do it with a certain quality. Mm-hmm. And that That's takes great. a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of money even. Mm-hmm. And I know. Yeah, I if you're not getting paid for spending that much money and time and, and effort, it's super tiring and you also, end up hating your, your hobby. Also turning a hobby or a passion into a job just makes, uh, it just helps like me lose interest in it period let's say if i did start like doing other people's makeup yeah, no fuck no i will I, never paint another face including mine <laughs> that's why i haven't taken a photo in three months so mm. yeah. no, you're trying to avoid taking photos of other people no like i on like uh i don't know in a personal lead for taking yeah, photos yeah Sabbatical. I'm taking like a break. Sabbatical. Because if I do, I want it to be like every time better than the last time. And I can't do that if I am working and studying and finishing my college. Yeah, like yeah. doing it like on a hurry and without the assets I need and the time and the people and everything. That's one of those gonna, things. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's gonna be very frustrating and so i'd rather let it wait a little bit mm. yeah I, I mean i like that that's, so that's, you don't have to cho- choose between your college degree job and your passion job if if you never graduate <laughs> Good, that's <laughs> Don't that's wait, true. Don't waste your money. Uh, how about you're how? You're <laughs> too much time, too much time and money in college. Yeah, you, you care to share, Alex? <laughs> Bro, but we are already on August. But yeah, pretty much on September. I I'll finish college in like two or three months max. So yeah, Damn. yeah. I, yeah. I shouldn't yeah. let it like sink right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's you can the... always go back if you stop. Yeah, I, that's from yeah, someone no. who stopped a couple I, of times. Uh, yeah, but I have like only two years of rare. Yeah, that's the thing too. Like, because when I hear Camilo say like we're letting it wait, I'm not saying he's gonna do, it, but here it's a lot what I hear about other dancers who I thought who had 
ridiculous talent the thing is with the dance industry it's rough man it's like it with photography man you share that shit on instagram boom boom like people want to take photos you start charge however much up for a session with dancers it's, it's i feel like it's I don't know, rougher in a sense, and people undervalue it. And uh, people, when I think we said last this last week, uh, once the real world happens, you gotta start handling your business and the bills, and people start getting jobs, and then people, and then obviously you want more money. In order to do that, you got to put in more time to get that money, and then uh, yeah, in order to get that time, and then therefore you start sacrificing the time you did that you put into dancing and then dancing eventually becomes like a back burner to just okay. a very small lingering flame or, yeah. or just embers at one point because you know the hobby gets replaced by real world and or adult world so to speak featuring our one of our clients no I'm just kidding. no no, no. I'm just kidding. I literally okay. took me like two seconds. I'm like, oh shit. Oh, no, but, okay. On my PC. Yeah. It, I know. Good morning. That, <laughs> that's why I think like, I, I like what Max does because for people who aren't crazy to try to start their own business, like they, it's mm -hmm. the more, I would say a, I would almost say the stable and safer route because it the you the thing with starting a business or following your one passion the hardcore is money and yes, cash it flow pay. and it doesn't pay right off the bat so sure. having your passion as a hobby or having multiple hobbies and being open to monetizing it and but letting your hobby be a hobby instead of a means of money because the minute you make your hobby into a means of money, you start doing things differently. You start trying to sell too soon. You start trying to produce merch when you're not, when you're, when your shit isn't ready, you start trying to sell when your audience isn't that big yet. Or you start taking in more clients that you could have, then you could handle that too, which mm -hmm. makes sense. So, so with, with the, I'd say like, honestly, this is what I wish someone actually told me when I was younger before starting all this, like, keep your job. <laughs> um, hold on and to it for a little bit for a little bit yeah because yeah. don't drain your savings immediately because because uh, then again you don't want to be in that scarcity mindset and you don't want your hobbies what used to be fun to be like to be no longer fun because you're relying it for on it for income mm -hmm. so exactly. um, there's a lot of these like success stories like while they're like amazing and impressive it's like in you know, all these people i drop everything to do this and then yeah that those are the ones that you hear about on tv on the internet because they're uh -huh. success stories mm -hmm. obviously they're gonna be on the internet you never hear about the ones that i, mm -hmm. I went bankrupt because i chose my health lost their oh, home lost, yeah. like custody because they ran out of money i think the key is like to find the good balance because i would say i love judo when i was working at the gym and i am aware that judo classes is not selling as hot pancakes as personal training classes mm -hmm. so what i do is i keep my judo classes i have more judo classes but i still keep like a good number of clients that i do personal training which i earn from mm -hmm. So I get to enjoy my judo and I don't get pressured over like adding more classes that I would end up like being so Hating. tired or not giving like 100% on all the, because it's, it's different when you hold classes, you've got more than 15 kids on your class. Or sometimes you get more than 25. It's different than having, because you give your all, you do things with them. Yeah. As compared to doing like, personal training with someone, which pays you're more. literally sitting there and you're telling them what to do. Yeah, <laughs> demoing just, it once. You're just demoing it once or twice. Did you get it? Like, all right, so here's how you do okay, it. Okay, do it. All right, yep. your turn. Okay, your turn. Go. No, do five it more. Times. Yep. No, ten more. Okay, good. Yeah, but Next. then I th I think it has to do with the approach you took into your business, because yeah quitting your your job when your hobby isn't a sustainable income yet is pretty risky the thing is maybe you could take a part of your hobby and make it into a small passive income for example i don't know anything about dan dancing so yeah i don't know how the fuck could emory have done that it's not an advice because I, I don't know shit about <laughs> managing a business, but maybe for example, like what I am trying to do right now is the things I model on SolidWorks and Blender. 
I am willing to sell those for like even cents if it's necessary. But yeah. I am gonna build like a portfolio. At the same time, I am building an assets shop. So whenever it starts rolling, I will have, I don't know, 50 bucks a month, but it's passive income that's coming from my learning and my road in, in a way. So I think you can make it softer on yourself if you plan it accordingly. The thing is, you never know how the fuck you should, you're going to do it. Until yeah, like, you're already doing it. Because the thing with me, because I don't know if you guys are in, how many of you guys know, but I do have online courses. So that's yeah. the route that I was going with. I'm like, oh, because I saw other people like make crazy money with it. The thing is, it's with industries that a lot of people are going for. That like niches, like, I don't know, like social media marketing or whatever is hot. Coding, those are a hot topic because dancing was not. So like, I wasn't, I didn't have the, the, the foresight to to understand the you know supply and demand of that so i assumed it was a, a beginner business mistake of people think build it uh, you build it and they'll come no you got to double check if you're actually solving a problem first before you actually build yeah. it but i but it's but my course has actually been actually helping pay off pay my car so that's nice. it's grown it's yeah. it's grown throughout the, the the pandemic sales went up because people are at home online courses i'm like everybody has <laughs> learned something or <laughs> everybody has a one new diploma the pandemic i would say that's the yeah. minimum benefit that from got. from coronavirus yeah thank oh you God. corona yeah, oh God, it doesn't sound nice but yeah yeah, because because it, it's uh, yeah the the whole educational sector, especially online learning, people the demand went high because people were at home, they wanted to learn, or they just had nothing else better to do, and yeah, definitely yeah, it's different when you try to squeeze money out of your hobbies because it's no longer for yourself. It becomes yeah. more. It becomes for the. It becomes for the bills. Yeah, and I, for example, I should establish an e-shop on my webpage because I love editing and I could edit like for hours without being paid. And at the same time, I'm... Wait, what? You, hold, hold on. Oh, is that right? Oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <For free>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to edit my own photos for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do oh, that yeah, for myself ahead. too. <laughs> the thing is, uh, I am constantly making like assets and, and filters and presets and I could sell them. Yeah. Like my, my dog wants to very cheap, them. but up there, up there. for the amount I'm, I am making them, I lose nothing. The thing is, I have to set sure. the eShop, then publish oh. it, then try and get like uh, some oh. kind of, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I'm so lazy for that. Just like the, the, the back end stuff. Like you don't mind yeah, doing yeah. like yeah. The actual creative yeah. shit, but then the actual like back end setting up Set, shop. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah that's the, the unsexy part. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The part that, that I office. don't miss about like web development. Oh God. So yeah. I'm going to assume that I'm going to see some of your assets on some upcoming video games. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope so, but I don't think so. I, I think it's it will be on my page by now, especially when I finish college, because I have to start saving for Canada. So yeah, I will oh, sell yeah. every fucking thing I have and then move out. Damn. So what's the... Sounds familiar. <laughs> that, yeah, that, that story sounds familiar. And Alex <laughs> <laughs> selling everything to become yep. and becomes digital nomad, then finds love and then yeah. Seth, huh? then, yeah, then gets settle married down. in one day. Settle down. <laughs> Bring it down. I want to go to Canada with, with Lali since like 2018. Like we started dating and a month on talking we were like already oh yeah canada is a cool country yeah i'm thinking moving there I have the best uh, in a couple of years <laughs> yeah me too blah 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 and yeah now we are making like hard plans for when she finishes college what which part of canada i don't know yet because i think uh -huh. it will depend on 
where the fact they contract me because for my title, my college degree, it's easier to I, go to the colder parts. Yeah, like those I have the like, <laughs> yeah, I, I have priority in the industrial cities. Toronto. I really hope so. I just like have like a same advice because I got a friend. She works for HP, like Asian HP, like big time doing all those crazy shit for HP. She moved to Canada and, and she said, don't go for the big city because she's in a big city. She's in a big city right now. And she can't find anything that has to do with, and she's even willing to step back. And this person has like more than 10 years of experience. She worked for HP in Singapore. She's gone moved here. So like really dope stuff. Yeah. For, and, and she said, it's fucking hard finding jobs in big cities. So yeah, she's no been there right, like for years now and she's working like with something that is not connected to yeah that's why i don't want to pick like a city from beforehand yeah. because uh, it's all depending on who contracts me first if mm. someone contracts me in toronto let's go to toronto <laughs> if someone contracts me up north let's go to up north i, I don't know like i am open to to visit different parts of Canada as long as I have an assured like job. Yeah, yeah. you're set. I Dang. want to go there and stay. I don't want to go fail and come back and then try again. Uh, I don't want that. Dang, respect. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to the two week notice. <laughs> <laughs> Moving to Canada. When he's out. Bro, like I'm a workaholic. Do you think, do you really think I'm going to stop editing when I'm, when I go there, bro, it's, 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 it's a thing. different, it's a di yeah, completely new, like <laughs> lifestyle adjusting to that. But if you're still with us, that'd be, that's badass. But I, if you have to bounce, cause like the life demands something different. I understand that too. But when I was doing with, less, with, when I was doing less for my day job, I was doing like quite, a, I was doing a lot more for VP than, than, than I do now. Cause like now, like my job's like, Oh, we need you to do everything now. I'm like, you are everything. <laughs> so I was I mean, so like, like, and everybody knows. So he's just like, all right, don't think give these to you. <laughs> like, yeah. But for example, like comparing it to my college takes a, a fucking bunch of hours. So comparing it to a full-time job, it's the same, even like less. So whenever I get a cool job or at least like a part-time job, I should be like set to get the fuck out from Argentina, keep on working. Yeah, it's so. interesting how since they're Gen Z, their ideas, you know how interesting it is to like, Why? You know, it's just that. It's a different perspective when once you get older. <laughs> right? what, what, what do you I, mean? I think I would say it's about like moving into another country mm -hmm. because being younger, they got like high hopes and shit, right? They're like, yeah, I'm gonna plan my end plans and stuff. But once you get older, you just you're just gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna go with something that pays the bill. Then maybe do this on the side things that I like on the side. Mm. Like, yeah, yeah, moving to moving to a new country as an adult versus a young person is I know. Totally different. I was yeah. young and I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Did I? But <laughs> that's, a, that's the thing. That's why I am so sure I want to finish my college because my degree like makes it a lot easier. It's your out getting in Canada. Yeah. yeah. To get in, yeah. And since I have no problem like going up the like the stairs on my whatever job. Oh, the, the, uh, the ladder and whatnot. Yeah, oh, yeah. the ladder. Uh, I, I don't know. I like to, to work. I actually like to work a lot more than I like to, to study. So <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think like I was actually on, on a really bad mood. Like when I have to have to tell Emroy, like I need to cut some hours out because I fucking hate to study. <laughs> Like study like stuff I don't actually like, like for, I don't know, compromise. Yeah. When college says that you need this piece of knowledge for what? 
I'm not going to do that part of the product design, so <laughs> why should I learn it? Uri Kot, that reminds me of when I was in college. I was like, yeah, I know what I want to do. Why do I still need to, why do I need to learn modeling and texturing? I don't want to do that. Some people like that, but yeah. But yeah, I hear you. Like, admitting, like having to let go of certain things you like to compromise just so you can get out of here. Like you, mm. you, uh, you, you, to play the college game. Means to an end. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Agree. But also like the thing is my country, I hate to say this because I, I actually like my country, but it's super unstable, especially economically. So I think I will be a lot more chill in another country, even if I have to start from zero. Mm. It's a, That's how hard it is right here, right now. It, it's interesting because I was watching, I don't know if you guys have watched the show on Amazon called Jack Ryan. Nope. Uh, it's a, it's some military type shit. Yeah. But no, but it's actually pretty interesting because they, someone brought up an American was working with this guy in some other country and the guy did, was doing shady dealings, but he was a means to the end for the mission, the guy. And then the guy, the non-American guy, like he says, you look at me at the bad guy as a bad guy. And he says, maybe if I was born in a good country and had the same opportunities as you did, I'd be something different. <laughs> You know, it brings up like an interesting thing of your, is your geography destiny? Is it your, your environment in a sense? Because I'll be like, the U.S. isn't perfect, but there's definitely a lot more opportunities here compared to many other places. So. Yeah. And also like, or, it, it's super hard with Argentina because like we have a public education, public health, and a lot of public stuff that actually work pretty well. For oh. example, I don't know, like... I'm, I I'm going go over there. To, yeah, to a public college that's one of the best college of Latin America, like yeah. South America. And yeah, I'm able to establish like a job relationship with you guys, even though I never took an English class outside from school. And I went to a, a public high school, so it's more of the same. And it's, it's a shame that I am so well prepared to work on stuff that I can't do inside my country because I'd love to, to stay, but I can't stay if we have no industry. If mm, like mm -hmm. my whole degree only works for one thing here that is like being like either a, a matrix man, like you, you make the few like automobile parts that we make here mm -hmm. or you make i don't know indoor shit like chairs and coaches and beds and it's i didn't study five years to make a chair <laughs> excuse me but i think like product design goes further okay. can you work remotely on the degree Actually, yes, depending on what do I do, because my degree is like very broad in my abilities and my knowledge. And so I can make, for example, the prints, I can make the modeling, I can make the concept creation, I can make whatever you take from your imag imagination, ima imagination to an actual product. I can make it, whatever, whichever part it is. So sounds like uh, lack of industry shouldn't be a problem. If you sounds like, like that, the thing Wait, is, but, but, the one's hiring remote right now. <laughs> yeah, and and is, I think product. I mean, development and product design. You have to be there, like actual, because uh, my first job is in an international manufacturing and yeah i just have to like button on the chair making it's not as simple as that because the company i used to work is doing like we have 42 brands under a name and part of it is chairs and i like chairs because honestly i would say it would depend on your imagination because those are just plain chairs but during our time we were get like we teamed up with another company and we were the first to make like, the chairs where people donates i don't know or i think you should we're not allowed to say it you could like just cut off the, the it, it was tan 
with Mondelez, like the chairs for public schools, where public schools and parents and shit would have to collect their tetrafoils and replace it. In replacement, you are going to get a chair that you're going to be randomly donating to public schools. And I think it's not about the product. It's the way you look at the product. Because when I got into that, when I was, that was actually the first brand that I was stationed in. I said, it's too fucking boring because it's chairs. <laughs> so, so I would say it's the way you look at things because when we started, they, they said, do you want to team up with blah, blah. Then you started building your imagination. Yes, we can do this. Yes, we can do this. And then you talk with the plant, you talk with mixing up. It's the process is just so fun. Like mixing up, imagine there's a perfect blend of a tetra foil being mixed with plastic for the chair to work because if not it's just that the, the plastic is gonna fucking fall down like the chair isn't gonna work or the chair could not be recycled in the future so it's pretty cool i i would say yeah yeah it's super cool but the thing is like it since my first well year in college we are making furniture and it's like yeah. i can <laughs> make okay, more than, that, now, more than this. <laughs> yeah it's not about the chairs like chairs are cool and there are like different types of chairs with different type types of requirements chairs yeah Wait. the thing is if i stay here i won't me be making like pro elite chairs i will be making stupid like the same chairs yeah chairs. yeah kitchen chairs yeah there's no opportunity for growth in a sense yeah 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 because especially with industries like tools are so fucking expensive right here because we don't make them and bringing them yeah bring bringing them from another countries is super expensive because of aduanas we could create custom mission products gaming chairs and sell them you know what i I actually that's why we we have paypal band here we have amazon band here we have even wish i think because everything competes with our industry and for the last 30 years we didn't have any uh, there's a huge view flying around me sorry <laughs> <laughs> yo like the bee flies oh, so God. high there's so much animals <laughs> i remember alex and the dead dolphin Oh All right, my God. I'm fine. Oh, I'm safe. Mm, oh my God. I remember that. Jesus Christ. I know. It's, yeah, uh, let's, just let's have to make stop you talking guys about miserable. my degree because <laughs> I, I want to finish college and you don't make me want to finish college. I, it's no. my usual thing to say to everyone, like to just drop out. Oh, it, and then they get so mad at him that they. It's reverse psychology, really. So finish college out of spite. <laughs> get your degree out of spite. Because like, I'm one to talk because I have a bachelor's. There's, yeah. I've gotten a lot of opportunities for from college i'll be like if can i learn the things from there on youtube yeah but also like biggest benefit from college was the, the networking like the people who exactly. i met there became yeah they were the reason i got hired for the next thing and the next thing and ever if i the interview at some places were just a formality and then that's it and then <clears throat> so those of you guys in college drop out but if you guys are going to stay in college, build your network yeah, and, exactly. start, and and also start build, start creating shit that's relevant to the thing you want to do. Mm-hmm. Like we talked uh, about this before. Yeah. With Q. Like, that's what, what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're, you're, I, I'm, I'm picking that are related to, to like video editing. So, so like when I started to like dive deeper into like, computers and like computer parts like what gpus are there like how to build a computer what parameters are there so it's kind of like a hobby but it's also related to the kind of main passion which is like video editing and so i i, I can tie this like kind of supportive hobbies to so, so supplemental hobbies to, to, to the domain. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Supplemental hobbies. Yeah. Like I, I hear you there. It's good. Like the gra- my, my interest in graphic design somehow helped me with creating assets for after effects and uh, dancing helped me with rhythm and pacing with edits. It's like everything. I feel like everything can help everything. If we like, 
stop just seeing editing is just that or what this is just okay. that like everything can like yeah support i even do the bad part of it <laughs> uh, sometimes i'm like procrastinating and like watching youtube videos and i'm like oh if i watch this youtube video i i will know like how other people edit youtube videos <laughs> <laughs> every excuse is valid yeah it's, it's one of those things of you feel like i think it's a problem i think in the self-help industry like you or people are in this cycle of learning like you got it i learned this course then i got to go take this other course and this other course and then they never really do anything they're just like in this constant other this perpetual state of learning and never getting actually implementing and that's why as much as i believe in self-help but i also feel like if do something don't just keep going to seminars after seminars after seminar to feel like you're doing something if you're gonna watch I, yeah like like just some, buy a book live successful mindsets to get you rich <laughs> just <laughs> think about becoming rich yeah like, and the, the, like the, on, on your breakfast so yeah like so, so what if you're gonna learn something like implement so find a way to implement it immediately like it's uh yeah like yeah. whatever you learn it's not like important or helpful if you don't implement it mm -hmm. because knowing things just for the, the fact of knowing things doesn't help anyone yeah it's or, like it's no it's like when you are like very wise and you don't take your own advice it's <laughs> super stupid like why the fuck do you know all that if you are not going to use that Uh, yeah, like the people who give relationship advice but have had like shitty relationships and are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll start wrapping it up here. We're at 10 here. So, any last thoughts on anything we talked about today? Anyone? Well, it is a scam. Get therapy, fall in love. <laughs> Get therapy, don't fall in love with your therapist. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> an episode of how i know some other things uh, camilla drop out i'm just kidding yeah that's it with that i appreciate everyone who has been lurking or who has been in and out shout out to q melanie uh, bira for hopping on um, max for helping with the chat moving that along and everyone here in this uh, podcast right now so if you whether you're listening or you're watching i uh, give everyone here a follow and support because they're all aside from doing the vision paradox stuff they're also doing their own amazing things as well so max with photography bernie with judo camillo with his thirst trap photography <laughs> go, go, look, go look at it go look at his shit you'll see what i'm talking about <laughs> and alex with his abstract art make, make sure you buy some of alex's art i'm gonna be buying some a print soon to hang up because i'm normally indecisive like i always i've always wanted to put art here but i don't feel like i have a connection to it so i, uh, like I, I looked up uh, sh shipping costs to, to U usa <laughs> it's, it's a disaster it's a it's a hundred dollars <laughs> okay so with that uh, if you guys like it make sure you hit like, subscribe share this with friends who you think might benefit from it and uh, yeah you guys have an amazing hey. night day evening wherever the heck you guys are and we'll see you guys in the next episode of vision paradox after hours or the bdsm podcast buddies doing social media <laughs> that social media company and we oh, will and see you this guys thursday for temper tension yeah. react thank you uh for those of you guys watching live on twitch right now to uh, tune in this thursday because temper tantrum is doing reaction videos to movie scenes k-pop and bollywood oh, so sick. with that oh. we'll, <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next episode whenever that like, is I'm editing that later. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. i'm actually been i've actually been creating templates so it's like drag and drop of so <laughs> that's what you say every time yeah we're, i've been working on it today i'm trying to i'm like finding okay, okay, okay. algorithm like all right who's talking person middle person everyone moves here me Third and my person. mustache we'll judge that later <laughs> hmm. Oh. <laughs> can't touch mine it's gonna move if i try to touch it it's gonna move to my hands all right we shall see you everyone internet world on the next one i love you bye I don't. bye Caw -caw.